Honestly, I didn't expect to be here. Yucky! Uh... Hello? Ah! It just raining too hard! It is making us slightly uncomfortable! There's a mystical valve nearby which controls our rainfall, but only the chosen one is able to turn it. If no one helps us, we are doomed to be slightly uncomfortable forever! Um... Okay. A plant nursery full of veggie kids. Nice! Gonna assume that's where the other guys come from, right? Yeah. Fuck, wrong one. The Sprout Mold Town, Orange Oasis. I hate how I don't fucking see Rain Town. Oh, you know what also bothers me? Why is Pyre Why is Pyrefly Forest still all black? Like everything else apart from that one place below. Everything else is in color except Pyrefly Forest. What the hell? I went through the entirety of it. Or at least I'm pretty sure I did. Now you said a chosen one needed to do it? Can I do it? Would you turn the valve slightly to the right or the left? Right. The rain is slightly lighter now. You're the hero of Rain Town! Let's go! The rain has been adjusted! Neat! Thank you, Chosen One! We will remember your act of kindness forever. Oh, sweet. What's that, child? You want to go with them? Are you sure? If that is your wish. Chosen One, this child wishes to join you on your quest. She is yours now. Please take good care of her. That's pretty dope. Go forth, heroes. Your journey awaits you. Uh, that... That was a lot more quicker than I imagined. Veggie Kid. Heart plus 15, juice plus 15. Nice! Not gonna lie, I'm kinda tempted to give the Veggie Kid towards Kel. But I don't wanna lose what little defense I have, nor do I wanna get rid of this massive fucking hit rate that I have. I think I'll forego it for now, just because I'm already accustomed to Kel how he, with how he is already. Here in Raintown, it always seems to be raining a bit. It's not the most ideal weather condition for a picnic, but that's never stopped me before. <laughs> yeah, any time is good for a picnic. <laughs> that's right, Kel. Any time is a good time, especially with friends. Well, you know, can't throw down a good picnic. Thanks for the soup, Mari. This soup is delicious. Are we crying for the fucking soup? Can I have some seconds, please? What's wrong, guys? Is there something wrong with my soup? Lazing around in the rain is fun and all. But eating in the rain is a whole nother thing. I can't tell where the rain ends and the soup begins. Well, glad to see that everyone was pretty pretty much like the uh, the soup or whatnot. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, what would have what would happen if I turned if I turned it to the left? <laughs> what would happen if I actually turned the valve to the left? Because I turned it to the right. What would have happened if I turned it to the left? I'm very curious about that now. And all the enemies respawned again. Gotta love that. What do we have over here? Where does the sinkhole lead me to? It leads me to a bunch of sand. God, I love this OST. I love this song in particular. I don't know I don't know what is it about it but it just it just pumps me up all right this just seems like one big giant one way towards something I know it told me to go to the right but what happens if I go over here you should have listened all right buddy what I can't even take the puzzle really all right buddy uh, uh, 
Ginger dead, man. What? Is it be- All of a sudden, just because I went to the left. All, all of a sudden, the gingerbread men are now going- Or ginger dead, man. Are gonna fucking attack me now? What the hell? And these guys are still not dead. My god. Oh, never mind. They're all they're all flopping down. They're all falling down like flies. I found bread. Let's go. Oh, come on. There's toast ghosts as well. Alright, it's telling me to go to the left. But I want to go to the right. Alright, it's telling me to go to the right. What if I go to the left? It's telling me to go to the left, but I want to go right. This is going to open up some sort of can of worms that I was not prepared for, right? You should have listened. Alright, so if I'm going to look down, there's going to be more enemies, aren't there? Yep, there's ginger dead men. Uh, of course. <laughs> it's telling me to go all the Really? <laughs> really? Bro! <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Bro. Oh. Now you're really gonna make me fight these toast ghosts, aren't you? I don't like going against the toast ghosts. They just take up my fucking juice. Come on now. You did it! Good for you! Finally, it took me how long? Oh, would you look at that? What's in here? Hello? Hello? Miss Palmy has been taking care of us forever. She's always been so loving and caring. I wish I could give her something super special. Oh, well. Fucking hell. Welcome to my house! I take care of children who don't have a family of their own. It's been a bit empty around here lately. So I always worry that the children who are left will start getting lonely. Bro, how are you going to tell me you want to give something special to her and not tell me what it is? What do we have here in this melon? We got a donut. How fitting for this donut that's right next to us. One more melon over here. We got ourselves a life gem. Let's go, baby. What is this sparkling thing over here? Let me look at it. Let me touch it. Got a treasure map. Neat. Oh. Uh, let's see here. Is it an important item? X marks a spot. Alright, well, who do I give... Am I supposed to give the treasure map to somebody, or am I supposed to figure it out myself? Is this the special item that you wanted to give to the other person? Well, let's check out this view. There we go. Shout out to my boy Blank. He probably knows what that is. Melon! Grape soda! This might be a controversial take, but... I'm not the biggest fan of grape. You know, I'm not gonna- I won't turn down grape. But it's not my go-to. Also, what the hell? Hello? Are you just broken? Alright, goodbye. What's up, my guy? Can you talk with me? I don't think he can really talk with me. From over here. But what about from over here? Yes, sir! He can! Howdy-ho, youngins! You don't mind doing me a favor? I need you to scratch an itch for me. It's on my bottom, so I can't really get to it. Ugh! It's just absolutely killing me! Uh, sure, if I can even find it. Buddy, are you okay? Can you not fight me or anything like that? Do I need to switch to somebody else? No, I think he's just having a stroke. He just doesn't want to fight. Uh, buddy, where is the bottom? You're gonna have to be a little more specific. Because I have no clue where your bottom is. At all. Like, no clue whatsoever. Maybe I have to go inside Dino's Dig. I mean, after all, I did look through everything around here. Alright, buddy. 
where where is it at where is it at is it over here no over here over here over here change artifacts from different lands the treasures on display here are from all over the world i want to travel around the world someday but let me tell you the world can be disappointing sometimes last time i tried dino's dig i found a lot of some amazing treasure but this time i tried dino's dig i just found some granola bars I mean, if you don't want them, I'll take them. Food Pyramid has a knack for finding lots of things. Ancient artifacts, old relics lost in time. The possibilities are endless. Whoa now, calm down. Oh, there you go. There's your scratch. Ah, much better. Just giving him another scratch, just in case. Aw, oh, nuts. I'm one dino dollar away from a silver spoon. Welcome to the dino shop. According to my log, it says you have a total of zero dino dollars. Want to buy a plastic spoon? 10 digs for three dino dollars. 15 digs for six dino dollars. Silver spoon for 10 dino dollars. Oh, how much is a fucking dino dollar? What's the conversion rate of dino dollars to clams? Because I feel like I have more than enough clams to be able to afford that. Alright, Scott, you good? You good, Scott? 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 There, 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 there. Hey! You must be the kids who scratched my itch! What a huge relief! Here, take this. We actually have too many of these things. I'm sure it'll come in handy one way or another. A hard hat. Stay safe, kids! I really can't thank you enough. Feel like that's something I should give to Hero. Defense plus 10, so what would a hard hat give me? Defense plus 6, bro! These people are giving me trash! Alright, Dino, you must know the conversion rate or something. Hey there, little adventurers. Welcome to Dino's Digs. I'm Dino, the founder of Dino's Digs. Ahem. <clears throat> Are you hungry for treasure? Are you ready to have a spoonful of adventure? If so, you've come to the right place. Here at Dino Digs, we have created the ultimate treasure hunting adventure, which you can experience for the low price of a hundred clams. Yes, sir. Dino Tastic. Let's do this. I'm just gonna do this real quickly. You never know if you might need to smash something. Alright kiddos, first things first, here at Dino's Digs, we dig with spoons. Says you don't have a spoon, I'll give you a potato spoon for free. Okay, choose which spoon you'd like to use. There you go, right on brother, you're a quick learner aren't you? And our special dig site, the food pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad treasure from all over the universe. And the best part is, you get to keep anything you find, that's a dino guarantee! Let me tell you about our dig site. The food pyramid has four levels. You always start on the first level, but if you're lucky, you might just find a pyramid key that unlocks a pyramid gate to the next level. The higher you go, the better treasure will be. Now here's the catch. Each spoon has a limited amount of uses before it breaks. For example, potato spoons will break after you dig five times. If a spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends. The pyramid gate's closed, and we will call you back to the entrance. You understand everything I said? Dino-tastic! Now it's time for the, our dino disclaimer. Treasure isn't the only thing you'll find in the food pyramid. During your round, you might fi find some troublesome creators looking for a fight. We aren't liable for any damages to you or your property during your adventure, you think? If a creator knocks you out during the battle, it'll be a real game over. Well, that's pretty much it. All that's left for you to do is go up to the stairs, smell the sweet food pyramid air, and start digging. Have a dino tastic adventure! Ah, so these are the little critters they're talking about. Yo! What? That is bullshit! Immediately out of the gate, just going towards Aubrey. And he's still not dead! That's the worst part! How is he not dead? God damn, I'm really glad he didn't decide to fucking... Oh, whatchamacallit? I'm su I'm super Come back, alright. I'm surprised he didn't decide to hit me right in the heart. Uh, I learned so many skills these days that I just kind of stopped going over the ones I find. Uh, come back. Makes Kill happy. If sad, if sad was removed, Kill gains flex. All right. No shot. No shot. I found Hector. I found Hector. 
Oh, Hector! Could it be? It's really you! Come on, Hector! Back into my pocket you go! It'll be just like old times! Ah, Kel. My old friend. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid things have changed and I can no longer accompany you. You see, I have a family now. Wait, Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are you saying you want to join them? That there's more to life than just staying here? Oh, Hector Jr., I... I understand you well. Even this old stone knew how to have fun once. May you all have memorable adventures together. Go on and join him, Hector Jr. Into his pocket. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> I guess this is farewell then. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, Kill. Hector Jr., you be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We're always here for you. I hope that the next time we'll meet you, you'll flourish into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good care of Hector Jr. I know you will, Kel. Just don't lose him this time, alright? I won't. I promise. Dude. I can't believe I found fucking Hector. And this bitch has the not want to come back with me. Alright, alright, alright. He can't be a weapon. Yeah, no, I, d I doubt he was a he I doubt he'll be a weapon. Where's Hector Jr.? Stats increase with more energy. Yeah, no, no, no. I have to have Hector Jr. on Kel. Doesn't matter who the fuck it is. Hector Jr. just has to be with Kel. Right? I was over here, you know, trying to do this dino digs with my new silver spoon that I got with 10 dino dollars. And I found Hector! I actually found Hector! I can't believe it! I also can't believe how unlucky I'm getting! Alright, Pyramid Key! Pyramid Key! Let's go! Oh, uh, Who are you? Eh? Where am I? Who are you? I feel like this thing is gonna break any moment now. And that's the sad part. I don't want it to break. All right, please be the key. It is not the key. Please be the key. It's not the key. And there goes the spoon. God damn it. I was just unlucky there. How many dino dollars have I accumulated? 12 dino dollars. That is very sad, actually. I thought I accumulated a lot more. Alright, not gonna lie, I genuinely hope, I genuinely hope that, um, I'm able to fucking find the pyramid key in the same location that I originally found it in. Alright, one way to find out. Dino dollar, ramen. Not a single key! Not a single pyramid key! Well, I think I might have to push my luck with Dino on another day because I'm just getting really unlucky and just I'm not able to find uh, these goddamn whatchamacallit it these goddamn pyramid keys. Instead, I've been having to deal with enemies that have been kicking my ass. All right, what do we have over here? That leads me to where does this lead me to? Leads me to a bunch of wheat fields, a lot of toast everywhere. <gasps> What was that? What the fuck was that? Uh, okay. I'm going to assume there's a password here that I need to remember. Or I need to learn some way how to get to... Some way to open this or whatnot. Because that's what it looks like, but I don't know what it is. So who the hell is that burning guy that's going all the way over there? Hey, Button McGee! Hey, Button McGee! Hey, Button McGee! Alright, he's just not doing... He's just not... <laughs> he's just gonna keep running. Alright, do you want this treasure map that I have? No? You don't want it? 
<laughs> what do you want? All right, what, let's see what leads me up here. Interesting. Hey, uh, what are you doing? My name is Orange Joe, and I'm throwing oranges. Ho <laughs> ho! So cool. But why? Because I'm looking for my long lost twin brother, Orange. Or anger, Joe. They were separated at birth, but in my citrusy heart, I know that he's still out there somewhere. Each orange is inscribed with a message explaining who I am and how to find me. I'm hoping that by throwing these in all directions, one of them will reach him and lead him back to me. Aww, that's so sweet. I hope you find your brother eventually. Thank you, young lady. I know I will. My body is healthy and full of hope and vigor, but just in case, if you do happen to see my twin, please give him this orange crest. I know it will lead me to him somehow. Cool, thank you. Fear not, my, de my dear friend Orange Joe. We'll find your brother for sure. Where is Orange Joe's orange house looks like? White orange. I even got a blood orange. Aha! A red orange. It's... It's shit. That's all. That's all it is. It's shit! Wait a minute, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's just a lantern. I'm tripping. An orange lantern. I gotta get that right. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, shit! <laughs> Holy shit! It's the orange guy. Eh? Where am I? Who are you? Oh, wait a second! You look kind of familiar. That body shape, that citrusy exterior, it's undeniable. You must be o Orange Joe's twin brother, Oranga Joe. My name is Oranga Joe, and I have a twin brother? Yeah, and he's been looking for you all this time. Here, take this. He told us to give it to you. There you go. Here's your orange crust. This. This crest. Could it be? Ever since I was young, I have looked everywhere for my true home. The only thing I've had to my name was this pendant with an orange-shaped crest engraved on it. The same one that appears on this orange crest. It all makes so much sense now. I know who I am. I must be Oranga Joe. Brother, I don't believe my eyes. It really is you. Whoa, Orange Joe. You can't just drop in here uninvited. Yes, brother. It is me, Oranga Joe. There's no mistake. I can feel it in my citrusy heart. Oh, how I missed you, dear brother. Yes, my body is full of hope and vigor. How I've waited for this day. We meet at last, dear brother. Let us embrace. Aww. <laughs> this is touching. I must thank you, children. I have thought about my dear brother for every day of my life, and now he's finally here! Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you for reuniting us. I have waited so long to find my one true home. Take this, it is a gift from me. Two more life gems, let's go, baby! Come now, dear brother. Let us go home. You are too gracious, dear brother. In celebration of this meeting, let us walk together. Hope and vigor! Hope and vigor! Hope and vigor! That's sweet. Now, what I need what I need to happen now is one, I could finally move. Okay, that's touching and all, but I really don't want to be destroyed by this ginger and cilantro. Alright, there's one of those face theme of bobbers just need to go through all these cones once again please leave me alone cones can you fuck off i need to get here all right gotta go whack what do we have over here? Jam packets! I'll take that! 
I will 100% take that. So I guess even after all this time, this thing actually wasn't Hector. Despite the fact that even though when I first originally climbed up into Otherworld, that rock was not there. So they weren't kidding. That rock indeed was not Hector. Alright then. Alright, we got another face over there, but first I wanna try I wanna try my jokes on this willow. The weeping willow. Uh hates me, weeping willow, blah blah blah. Can you do something funny for me? Maybe tell a joke. Alright, alright. I got I got I got a good one. I got a good one. Uh yes, the cheese joke. What do you call a cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. And she's still crying. Fucking hell. Hey, did I already try the bicycle joke as well? I'm gonna throw 10 clams in here again. Just because I generally cannot remember if I did the bicycle joke or not. I know I did the scarecrow joke. And I know I did the moon joke. But I generally do not remember if I did the bicycle joke. I feel like I did though. Oh, uh, bicycle joke. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. That joke was so bad. Alright, alright. So no matter, no matter all the different kind of jokes that I have in the universe, no, no, nothing is going to make her happy. Now, what do we have over here? More jam packets! Let's go! I have a feeling that every single one of these face walls that I'm gonna be breaking open is, are, is just gonna be filled with jam packets. Is it not? Can't believe I'm here again of all the places that I could be. Oh, fuck off, will ya? Alright, the final one for now. There you are. Let me just make sure there are no other races for me to break. And boom. Now, I would appreciate my jam packets. Thank you very much. Legasp, you have returned. Please admire my latest masterpiece. It is already framed in the gallery ahead. Already finished, huh? What do we have over here? Untitled by the great artist Rococo. Hey, I am just starting out, okay? Give me a break. Uh, great job, buddy. Well, are you happy with my masterpiece? Just so you know, as my skills become more, more formidable, my commission rates will also increase. The next masterpiece will cost you 5,000 clams. Will you continue to assist me on my journey of self-discovery? Fuck it, I got the clams. Like magnificent! Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. I won't disappoint you. Well, my buddy, my buddy old pal, my buddy old pal old buddy. You are going to have a lot more time up ahead because I'm just going to go fall in that hole. The hole that Sweetheart made, uh, I, I think I'm just going to go fall in it because the thing is, is like, I could continue trying to find something in Dino Dig because in theory, that should be where the treasure for um, that kid who wanted to find the treasure for their caretaker. But it just be, it would just be unwise of me to use my time constantly going through that dino dig and whatnot. Especially considering that, um, whatchamacallit, especially considering that the enemies there are kicking my ass. Hence why I'm kind of high level now, 32. Because everyone kept kicking my ass! Plus, I know I can return to the orange oasis. There is not like it's not like there's anything else in there for me to look for because there really isn't. So I think I'm just better off going in the hole. Um well 
We'll see everyone in the morning then. All right. And I just realized to this day, I still have not found the goddamn G key. Uh, is everyone okay? Question mark. That sounded like a gnarly fall. Where am I? Where's my team? Where's my team? <laughs> also, I just realized, is the is the crater the whole entire fly forest? Is that supposed to lead me to this place down here down here over here? Yeah, I still need to find this fucking G key. God knows where that is. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Uh, no. Fuck off, spiderweb. Fuck off, spiderweb. I'm looking through everything and all of a sudden I just see a spiderweb in front of me. It just appears out of nowhere. Find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach after all, and everyone was exhausted. Was the first to nod off than the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, heads accidentally drops onto his shoulder. The sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Oh, are we going through Sonny's memories? I mean, that does sound like Sonny. Somebody who gets jolted awake from sleep and and who just uh, someone who gets jolted awake from sleep and who, despite being awake, doesn't open his eyes and just stays there chilling. Fuck off, spider webs. All right, what do we have over here? A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. And what seems like less than a second disappears at the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. Face turns red and yells for her, but is already gone. Hands some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet's going to stain. They'll have to deal with later. Oh, that's a little bit more interesting. From the sounds of it, it sounds like it was Kel who accidentally threw orange juice on the carpet. But if there are two adults who are cleaning up, who are cleaning up the stain, the two people who come to mind is Hero and Mari. But the thing is, Hero isn't isn't an adult. He's still he's still a quote unquote child. He's just older than the rest. As old as Mari, probably. Actually, no. Hero's probably younger than Mari. Mari's probably the oldest. It was a hot summer day and all I could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to and work. All day we watched lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour has passed since has climbed their ladder. I would just be their moral support. So 
thought as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for help and he won't be able to refuse. The tree house was for everyone, and, and so it's only fair that everyone won't put some work into it. He knows this and agrees, but reluctantly, he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It has had to be on the hottest day of summer. Again, that does sound like something... That does sound like something Sunny would do. He's not a man of action. He's a man of few words, but not a man of action. Oh man, where'd she go? Yeah, Sunny isn't a man of... Not a man of action. Uh... Oh, come on now. What do you have over here? This year was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to a small window. Every day during class, would gaze listlessly through the opening, at the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same day as any other. Stared vacantly out the small windows, the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Looks away from the opening. Smiles. He motions that class is over and it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Stomachs growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. Once again, this kind of sounds like Sonny and Kel. It sounds like Kel would be the one because they aren't, they should be supposedly in the same grade. So it would make sense that they would be in the same class. And then Sonny would be the one who thinks of all these adventures on his own. I mean, shit, all of this is just a dream, is it not? All right. I see some dark guys over there, right? I don't I don't like that at all. God, I can barely see with how dark it is. Come on, let me get to that let me get to that book of interest over there. Can I seriously not get there? Oh that's BS. That's actually BS. Oh wait no, never mind. I'm just an idiot. I thought I thought that I thought this wasn't carpet. I didn't think that was a carpet. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. We're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Jumps first, then, then, again, then, again. The brothers gleefully urge to join them, and after some careful thought, warily agrees. Shuffles up at the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. Shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. So it sounds like Sonny went through some traumatic experience with water, at least, which may explain his fear of water. And that Hero and Kel wanted him to just dive with them. And he tried to, but he just couldn't. I kind of feel for Sunny there. You know, I I don't know how to swim either, so I'm pretty sure I would fucking lose my shit. If I was him as well. Ah, oh, damn it, so many fucking spider webs everywhere. Oh, would you look at that? Managed to find the L key. That sounded a little more deeper than usual. Managed to find the L key, but still was not able to find the goddamn G key. 
All right. Black. Well, I'm, I was able to spell one key. That, uh, that doesn't look good. What about over here? The sun. The wall feels hollow here. Ah, uh, if only Aubrey was here. Everyone is over again today. A special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He will be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. We can only watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Something opened. Uh, I didn't mean to go through here, I'll be honest with you. But damn. Yeah. Yeah, that is Sonny. He's the one who has to play the violin. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Now what's in the hole? Basil? Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Hmm. Give me one moment. All right, what was this thing that actually opened over here? What is this thing about? That looks like Basil's silhouette. Ah oh, yeah, some delicious fruits. Thank you very much. I just feel better. It's just as simple as that. Two days left. Oh man. Alright. Can I play the piano over here? The grand piano. The word Omori is etched across the center. Nothing. You know what still upsets me? Even after all this time, even when Sunny was finally able to get out, Basil just looked so crushed, so upset, so defeated when he found out that Sunny was moving away. I'm sorry, Basil. I'm sorry. What is this? I heard the piano? Someone was playing the piano? Damn. Uh... Why is that... I don't know if it's me, but that... Fl that light bulb looks a lot more... Vigorous than before. Oh god damn it. Well, we all know what's coming next. Two days left. Uh still wish I could see Basil. Hopefully hopefully we could try calming him down. Rise and shine, Sonny. Oh my god, hold the phone, buddy. I hear you. Hello? Hello? Sunny, are you there? I'm here, Kel. I'm here. No bullshit. None of that. 
Let's just go straight into the door. Is it sunny out there? Hi, Sunny! Top of the morning to you! <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. It turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back in. I thought it might be funner if we went together. Did you want to come along, Sunny? Of course you do! Come on! Let's go! Unfortunately for you, Kel, my journey is going to end off here. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, and I will see you guys in the next episode. It's sunny out there, folks, and take care.